When I did the mix of this year's Christmas mix contest song Santa Claus is Coming, I mainly used Apple's AirPods Pro 2. That is to say, I first mixed the song completely with a tried and tested KS Digital Line Master and then, after a few days, I mixed the song a second time with the AirPods. We are talking about a difference of 40 kilograms and over 25,000 euros here. As already anticipated, in the end I did go for the headphone mix, but that certainly doesn't mean that I'll be giving the Line Masters away cheaply. To get the full picture, the order of events may be quite significant. With my previous experience from the mix over the monitors and a clear idea of what should be improved in the second version, the iPods Pro had quite a head start. However, the fact that I could actually get the mix to work so well with them really surprised me. Maybe my approach and working style had an impact too. Let me explain the whole thing in detail and you can see for yourself. So, how did I proceed? I did the mix on the monitors as usual, nothing out of the ordinary. I've been getting along perfectly well with the Line Master speakers for years almost decades. It was with good reason that I had them installed in both my control room in the Hofer Studios and at home. So far I haven't found anything that lets me work better and faster. The AirPods headphones are not new to me either, but I mainly use them for editing. To use them on a mix I first had to get a feel for them and I did that with a song I have been using as a reference for 20 years, Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day. It's not that I particularly favor the song, but this mix by the great sound engineer Chris Lord Elsh has great transients a superb spatial depth and excellent bass, mid and treble ranges. When this hit was on heavy rotation in the mid-2000s, I noticed that it sounded great no matter where I heard it. And so it became my favorite reference. In a focused listening session with the AirPods Pro 2, I wrote a list of my impressions. It contained the following notes. Sounds rather bright overall, whereby the electric bass is well defined in the low mid range. The low bass range, on the other hand, is not loud. Vocals are embedded in the playback, somewhat mid heavy but not harsh. Cymbals, on the other hand, are reproduced rather loudly. The localization in space is perfectly clear. The presence range of the AirPods Pro, unfortunately, sounds a bit synthetic which is probably due to the lossy but generally acceptable ASC Bluetooth codec. So much for the list of my listening impressions. Whenever I was a little unsure with the contest mix, I checked these notes. This list served as my benchmark how instruments, groups and the entire mix should sound on these little white thingies, so that I would be happy with it in the long term. Well, the rest was handiwork. This time, though, the analyzer was even more important than usual, if that's possible. Before I get to the conclusion, here is a comparison of the pros and cons. The following arguments support mixing with studio monitors. Work is less tiring and more fun. It's easier to perfectly balance the levels and adjust the reverb. Listening together with friends, colleagues and customers on good monitors in an optimized room is a relevant studio experience and indispensable for creating a positive atmosphere and achieving satisfying results. The headphones certainly score when it's about the budget. You can get useful products for around 100 euros, although prices can be much higher. Another plus is that you don't need to worry about the room acoustics if your room is only used for mixing. The flexibility of being able to work anywhere with earphones is another huge advantage. In this context I often use active noise cancellation for more focus. It's also nice that in the Apple world latency is compensated when editing and mixing and of course I like the audio precision offered by a reliable headphone. It usually makes finding errors and working on details easier. 
Now for the final question. Can I recommend mixing with AirPods and other earphones? Absolutely, because it basically works great as long as you know your equipment. I really felt inspired by the test and it was certainly not the last time I mixed a song with AirPods. With active noise cancellation you inevitably become more focused. If you're in the right mood for it, you can easily forget everything around you and concentrate fully on the job. Post your experiences with headphones compared to speakers in the comments. I'd really like to hear about them.